Bred by Buddhist monks, the Tibetan Spaniel is independent, playful, sweet and alert watchdog and companion. They are top 10 interesting facts about the Tibetan Spaniels. Number 1. Origin This is an ancient Tibetan dog breed that can trace their roots back centuries to the Buddhist monasteries. Lion is an important Buddhist symbol and everything lion-like, even lion-like dogs, were adored. The Buddhist monks kept Tibetan spaniels as watchdogs. These little dogs would sit on the monastery walls, guarding and watching over their territory, and started barking when something suspicious happened. Number 2. Not a Spaniel Tibetan Spaniel is not a Spaniel type of a dog. Traditionally, Spaniels were gun dogs, but as you already know, Tibetan Spaniels served as a watchdog and not as a hunter. The reason why they are called Spaniels is that French called this dog a pagnol, which can be translated as companion dog, so the word Spaniel is a misnomer of the French word a pagnol. Number 3. Gifts these little dogs were never sold, but they were oftentimes gifted to other important people and royalty, especially in China. This is how they made their way to the courts of China and Japan and it's believed that they were interbred with some local dogs as well. We cannot be sure about it, but it's believed that they share common ancestry with Japanese Chin and Pekingese. Number 4. Little Lion one of the most distinctive features of the Tibetan Spaniel is its coat, better to say, the thick mane around the neck, which is how they got their nickname, Little Lion. The rest of the body is covered by a thick double coat of medium length, which can be in any color combination. Number 5. Independence just like most of the dogs that were bred as guards or watchdogs, the Tibetan Spaniel is an independent breed. On the other hand, they are very intelligent and pretty trainable. They get new commands quickly and with firm and patient training, they can grow into very obedient dogs. Number 6. Size this is slightly longer than tall breed with small head and short muzzle. The average height is around 10 inches, which is 25 centimeters, and weight between 9 to 15 pounds, which is 4 to 7 kilograms. There are no extreme differences between the size of males and females. Number 7. Maintenance. This is moderate shedder which requires regular brushing. It's recommended to brush them on daily basis to minimize the shedding and keep the coat in good condition. This dog should live indoors and you should check regularly their ears, eyes and nails and clip them or clean them if needed. Number 8. On Leash this is very curious dog breed and even though they are not hyperactive, they love exploring. That is why it's recommended to keep the dog on leash in unknown or unfenced areas, otherwise they might run away after something they find interesting. Number 9. Watchdogs Tibis were bred and developed as watchdogs and even though they are not used for this purpose anymore, they still have it in them. That is why you can rely on them to start an alarm bark when something suspicious is going on around your property. But of course, even though they make good watchdogs, they are not the best guards since they, since they are too small for this kind of a job. Number 10. Health this is usually a very healthy dog breed with great lifespan between 13 to 16 years. Just like all dogs, they do suffer from some health issues, most commonly from progressive retinal atrophy, portosystemic shunt, allergies and entropion. Tell me in comments what you like the most about the Tibetan Spaniel and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on, check our Instagram, Facebook links are in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.